What's going on, you guys? It's me, your boy Scott by Nature TV, and you already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it, honey. <laughs> What's good, you guys? This is your boy, Scott, by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, and we're here to talk about 50 Cent, Jay-Z, and Eminem, okay? Now, before we get into any of that, let me let you guys know a little sum sum. Roasted Review will be coming out on Wednesday night live at 9.15 Eastern, 8.15 Central Time, and it will be on Josiah's World TV's channel, so be on the lookout for that, where we will be roasting and reviewing Candy in the Gang, as well as Love and Mary Chanceville, okay? Be on the lookout for that. We're about to get into some things, 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 and more things, so tune in to Roasted Review on Wednesday night, okay? Um, So... Anything else that I got coming up will be talked about at the end of the video, okay? Now, we're going to talk about 50 Cent, Jay-Z, and Eminem. And I got this article from the jasminebrand.com. And not only that, my mama sent me something. So, shout out to mama. <laughs> mama Tracy, okay? That's my mama name. My mama name, Tracy. Shout out to her, okay? So, let's get into it, honey. So, we're about to sit up here and we're going to talk about it, y'all. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. So, um, what I'm going to do is, you already know, I'm going to read the article, and then we're going to get get it over with and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know I don't like 50 Cent, so I don't see this going no kind of way besides me dragging his ass. So, yeah. So, let's get into it, honey. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, the article reads, um, it seems like 50 Cent Super Bowl performance wasn't a part of Jay-Z's original plan. According to rap artist turned podcaster Noriega, Jay-Z, who serves as the NFL's live music and in entertainment strategist, didn't, in, in, didn't initially consider candy shop artist 50 Cent to partake in this year's um, Super Bowl halftime show. Nori also revealed that 50 Cent's appearance was only due to Detroit rapper Eminem refusing to do the performance without him. As previously reported, the iconic hip-hop-based Super Bowl halftime show that took place on February the 13th, 2020, featured Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, and Eminem, as well as a surprise performance by 50 Cent. On the latest episode of his popular podcast, Drink Champs, Nori discussed this year's Super Bowl musical showdown and shared 50 Cent's, how 50 Cent's set came to be. I said to Jay-Z, I have to ask this straight up, who is going to perform at the NFL? And Jay-Z said to me, and I'm sorry for everybody who don't understand. And he said, the white guy called for 50 Cent. He continued, I said, who's the white guy, Jimmy Levine? And, J and Jay-Z said, no, Eminem called directly for 50. And he said, I can't do it if I can't bring 50 with me. It seems like many people were shocked by what Noriega had to say, including 50 Cent. Following the release of the podcast episode, 50 Cent addressed the claims surrounding his Super Bowl performance and seemingly took shots at Jay-Z for allegedly leaving him off of the set list in the first place. In a series of posts shared online, the power producer questioned why Eminem, who previously signed 50 Cent to his label Shady Records, had to intervene in order for him to get the chance to perform. He also compared Jay-Z to famed 80s painter Gene Michael, who was rumored to be gay. In one post, 50 Cent wrote, why would he have to say that should be the question, Nori? Your big homie is running around looking like a gay painter. Following up, the media mogul questioned why Jay-Z didn't refer to the real Slim Shady artist as the biggest rep artist in the world. Why did he have to say the white boy? Why didn't he say the biggest rapper, rap artist in the world? Happy Easter, man. Enjoy the holidays. The question of why Jay-Z didn't want 50 Cent to perform at the show remains to be answered. Why do you think 50 Cent, why do you think Jay-Z allegedly wasn't here for 50 Cent's Super Bowl performance? For reasons like that, I don't like 50 Cent. And I think that's pretty clear that I don't like him. I don't like 50 Cent. Obviously, I don't. I think he's a bully. I think that he's an asshole. I think he's everything under the sun. I don't like that nigga. I can't stand 50 Cent. And that's just putting it lightly. I can't stand 50 Cent. He ain't shit. I do not like him. At all. I don't like him. Period. And I just feel like he full of shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that he's really full of it. And I think that he is ridiculous. Honestly, he is. He's very fucking ridiculous. And he didn't even, he and he always saying some gay shit all the time. Nigga, are you gay? You know what I'm saying? Who, like, who, who you fucking on? You know what I'm saying? Like, he always making these gay ass references all the time. Always saying this, always saying that. It's like, boy, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, shut your ass up. Like, why you always talking? You always chirping. Like, shut the fuck up. I don't like 50 Cent, y'all. And my thing is, Noriega is messy for even putting this story out. He ain't even have to talk about that. Why you have to bring that up? I get it's a podcast, drama sales, controversy sales, all that good stuff. I get it. But why did you have to put that out there? It was no need to. It really wasn't no need to. Like, why? Why Why are we even giving this any life? Why are we even talking about this? Because y'all already know, as soon as anything is being said in the blogs, 50 Cent is the first one to comment on some shit like a bitch. Because we, we already know that he's a real bitch. He's a real bitch, period. He always have been a real ass bitch. And not in a good way. So, now, nah, I'm just, I'm just not with the fuck shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just not with the fuck shit. I don't like this nigga. And I just, I just don't like him. And I need for him to just go the fuck on. Like, period. I just need for him to get the fuck on, go away, find him something safe to do, and just move the fuck on with his life. I don't like, y'all, I don't like 50 Cent. And it's just that on that. Because he just a bitch ass nigga. Like, he a real bitch ass nigga. I don't like him. I think I said that enough already. I don't like 50 Cent, and I'm um uh, and I wish he wasn't even at the Super Bowl show. I even when he was there, I was like, I wonder why he was even there. Like, I don't like him. And I ain't gonna spend no more than eight minutes talking about him. So before we get done with this video, let's get into what I got coming up next, and then we up out of here. Let's get into it. And the Whether You Like It or Not panel will be airing on May the 3rd, not the 2nd, but the 3rd. And it will be starring Scotty by Nature TV, Giving You the Real Tea, Josiah's World TV, Yacrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina. And we will be covering the Housewives of Atlanta and Basketball Wives all spring, all summer. Yes, indeed. Okay. And it will be a rotating panel amongst the six of us. So be on the lookout for that and subscribe to all six of us so you can get your weekly dose of the Whether You Like It or Not panel. Most definitely. Okay. Um, the Influence is coming out Saturday morning, so be on the lookout for that. And Who Was Wrong featuring Jamie That's Me will be coming out Sunday, okay? So be on the lookout for that Sunday morning, okay? Um, with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scott by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. And um, also click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever video drops. Um, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter and my Instagram will be down below in the description box. But if you want me to follow you back on Instagram, which I do follow back on Instagram, of course, um, be sure to um, hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message Team Scotty. And your boy will definitely, definitely, definitely follow you back. With that being said, you guys, your boy Scotty is up out of here. Until my next video, I will holler at you guys later. Peace out.